Welcome to Biofuels Academy. This video is made available as part of the Biofuels Education Project, funded by the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In this video, we want to illustrate the operation of biomass to liquid process. The pre-treated biomasses, together with oxygen and steam, are sent in to get fire for gasification. In the gasifier, the carbon contained in the biomass reacted with steam and oxygen to form mostly carbon monoxide and hydrogen. The mixed raw gas existed at the top of the gasifier. Then the raw gas is sent into a heat exchanger. In the exchanger, raw gas is cooled down by counterfluid cold water. At the same time, steam is generated from water. In the third step, raw gas is sent into a deductor. Ash particles suspended in the raw gas are removed through the deductor. After deducting, the raw gas is sent to a water gas shift reactor. The water gas shift reactor is an equipment for adjusting the ratio of hydrogen to carbon monoxide. In the reactor, carbon monoxide reacts with water vapor for, to form carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The raw gas is then sent to a scrubber. In the scrubber, the raw gas is desulfurized and the purified mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen is traditionally called syngas. The syngas is then sent to a fissure chops reactor. In the fissure chops reactor, the syngas is catalytically converted into a long chain peroxide. This is the main reaction for biomass to liquid process. The produce, the hydrocarbons and the water are sent to a separator. The mixture is refined through a separator, where light gases, liquid hydrocarbons, and waters are separated. The last step is hydrocracking. In the hydrocracker, the long-chain paraffins are heated and reacted with hydrogen to form short-chain paraffins, such as jet fuel, diesel, and gasoline. Finally, the thin crude is stored. Some references used in generating the videos are listed here. The members of the project gratefully acknowledge the financial support from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.biofuelsacademy.org.